You're upside down, 10 feet high in the air, experiencing a moment of true weightlessness. For a moment, it's like time stood still. You look down at their faces far below you, stretch out your arms, squeeze your legs together, point your toes, and think to yourself, this is what it's like to fly. Bryony Page, Kat Driscoll, and Nathan Bailey are all household names within the trampolining community, all incredibly inspirational, talented, and hardworking people who competed in Rio. They've all come from ordinary lives, and with a little bit of patience and a whole lot of hard work and courage, they've achieved extraordinary things. In this documentary, we will be exploring how the gymnasts of tomorrow deal with the challenges of today and looking behind the scenes of what it really takes to succeed as a trampolinist. As soon as you arrive at training, the warm-up begins. It involves running to get the blood pumping and then stretching out the neck, arms, shoulders, wrists, ankles, legs and feet. Then there's the floor routine, which has to be done before a competition and starts with a forward roll, landing in a dish shape, then leg stretches, back support, straddle stretch, pike stretch, left split and right split, which doesn't have to be perfect as long as the front leg is straight. And then it ends with a press up and jump. The trampoline warm-up consists of 50 back bounces, 10 tucks, 10 pikes, 10 straddles and then 20 straight bounces with the arms up, 20 out to the side, 20 straight in front and 20 straight down. And that's all before the actual trampolining has even begun. As you can see, it is incredibly important to be physically prepared to trampoline. One missed stretch can lead to a serious injury. It also helps to build up the muscle strength, stamina and flexibility needed. Before actually beginning a routine, you're allowed six bounces, so it's important to make the most out of every jump and get as much height as possible, digging your heels in, pointing your toes, arms up by your ears, pointed fingers and a tight body. Then on six, beat down. A beat down is the process by which the trampolinist changes the arm action used in straight jumping in order to set up the ideal takeoff position for the start of a single skill or routine. So it basically shows everyone that you're about to begin and means that your arms are ready in the air for your first move. Learning an impressive move such as a somersault or a crash dive can be tiring and requires so much patience. Each time you'll be given more and more corrections. You'll do it with two coaches supporting in a mat, then one coach supporting in a mat, then two hands free, one coach and a mat, then a coach spotting with a mat, then just a mat and all before you can do it on your own. This is because the coach has to be 100% sure that you can do the move without injuring yourself. So basically it means doing the same move over and over and over again. As I said, trampolining requires a lot of patience. Courage is also essential. Launching yourself meters high into the air and relying on the power of your feet to get you around. Knowing that even the tiniest thing can go wrong and mean that you completely lose control and potentially cause yourself a serious injury. In the training, majority of the moves are landed wrong, but trampolinists always have the courage to stand up and try again. To avoid any serious injuries occurring, a lot of precautions are put into place. There is a crash mat at each end of the trampoline, as well as on the floor surrounding the trampoline. Then there is always one or more spotter, which is someone who stands beside the bed and gets ready to catch the gymnast if they fall. We also have safety mats that are pushed in after a move or at the end of a routine, particularly if it's a new skill or the gymnast doesn't feel confident. These mats provide a soft landing and also kill the bounce so they don't go flying back up into the air. One of the best things about training at a club is the people. Spending hours a week with the same people means soon enough your teammates and coaches become like a second family. They know you better than anyone else and have all been in the same situation as you, so they know exactly what to say when you feel scared, unmotivated or negative. It's important to have such a strong bond as you're trusting them with your life and that they'll be there to catch you if you fall. The most powerful thing in any sport is your mindset, PMA, positive mental attitude. Once you believe that you can do it, then you're halfway there. Often the proudest achievements come from taking the biggest risks. After hours of training, it comes down to the competition. When people bounce the highest, tuck the tightest, kick the hardest, and trampoline like they've never trampolined before, and to the hundreds of eyes watching, it looks effortless. <laughs>